Hey everyone, James on behalf of FMS here and today we're looking at something you guys might have seen on uh, the RC Group's farm already. This is the 1400mm uh, wingspan Kingfisher. Um, it's a really all around um, easy flying plane, good for beginners, good for lazy weekends, um, good for FPV. You can see that it comes with an FPV mount that we'll talk about in a, in a bit. And uh, it's very unique in that it comes with Tundra tires, skis, and floats, as you see um, installed on the aircraft already. Um, in terms of power, it uses a standard 3S 2200 milliamp power um, 35C battery, and uh, it's powered by a 3536 uh, 850 kV brushless outrun. Um, let's take a quick look at what's in the box and do a quick build. Okay, so I've taken um, the box out, and from the box you can see that everything is well packaged, um, very compact. And something that's very different that I would like to point out is that it comes with floats, skis, and Tundra tires um, already, which is very different to, uh, to what other manufacturers offer, because uh, what we often see is that it only comes with uh, the tires. Now to complete this uh, build, you need two tools. One is a 1.5 millimeter and a two millimeter uh, hex drive. This is something that um, most modelers won't have, so uh, you'll need to get these first. Okay, now that we have everything out of the box, we're going to look at the box contents in a little more detail. Um, starting with the manual, um, very well written. Uh, please look through that. You have the floats, the skis, um, the struts for the floats, landing gear struts, uh, props, prop accessories, um, spinners and such, and then uh, wing spar, horizontal stabilizer, you have the FPV mount for the front of the aircraft, um, you have the screws and the uh, R-clips that you'll need, um, you have the rear landing gear, uh, main fuselage, wing struts, and the main wing. Okay, so now with all the box contents looked at, um, let's start the build. Okay, so step one of the manual tells us that we have to uh, install the main landing gear. So what we need now is um, the landing gear cover, the landing gear itself, uh, which the wheels are attached to already, and um, three two millimeter bolts uh, with a two millimeter hex screw. So we're going to line up the holes with the holes on the fuselage. Okay, and then we're going to put the fairing on top, making sure that the holes still line up. Okay, we're gonna take our bolts and secure the landing gear, like so. Okay, make sure that all the screws are secured because this is going to take the brunt of your landings. And that's the landing gear installation. Okay, next we're going to install the main wings. Um, for this, we need to locate the wing spar and the main wings. Um, we're going to come to the fuselage. They put it on its side. Um, we're going to put the wing spar into the wing. There's a tube, it fits very snugly. Um, let's put the wing spar into this pass-through right here and make sure you put the aileron wires into the fuselage as it points out in the manual, like so. And then we make sure that the wing is aligned with the fuselage and Okay, we're going to repeat on the other side as well. So I'm gonna flip the plane over a little bit. Make sure we align the wing with the wing spar. Like so. Again, um, aileron wires go into this path through on top of the fuselage. Make sure it's all the way through. Align the wing with the fuselage and push until we hear a click. Okay, next up on our manual, it says to install the Y harnesses. Uh, your aircraft would come with flaps, but mine doesn't because mine is prototype. So 
uh, your aircraft would come with two Y harnesses, one that says aileron, the other that says flap. But uh, the basic way to install it is that you take the Y harness, flip the plane over, Note that the canopy is latched onto the fuselage, so just latch it up. Locate the two uh, servo leads that came out of the wing and connect it to the Y harness. Make sure the ailerons go to the ailerons and the flaps go to the flaps. And that's it. Next, let's install the wing struts. Um, to do this, we need to first put our canopy back onto the fuselage. So the tongue goes into the fuselage and then you push down on the latch. Once you hear a click, um, the canopy is secured. Now we flip the plane over. And we will secure the wing struts. A little tip here is to install the fuselage side first, then the wings. It'll make it a little bit easier. And then what we're going to do is we're going to secure the struts with our clips. Okay, let's do the same on the other side as well. So, fuselage side first, then the wings, then the R clips. Our clip goes in, this side as well. Nice and Next, let's install the horizontal stabilizer. We're doing this upside down because the plane's upside down already. Um, so the latch faces up. Uh, if you're going to do this the right side up, the latch faces down, of course. Now it's a railed system. So what you're going to do is you're going to move the rudder to one side and you're going to align the rail um, to the fuselage and align the latch to its uh, opening here. And we're going to push forward until you hear a click. Okay, next we're going to install the tail wheel. Um, to do this, we have the tail wheel, the fairing for the vertical stabilizer and two bolts, uh, two millimeter bolts. What we're going to do now is going to take the tail wheel. I'm going to flip the plane, oh, sorry, this way, so you can see it a little bit better. What we're going to do now is to uh, take the tail wheel assembly, push it through this uh, hole here, and then line it up with the hole where the screw goes into the rudder so make sure the servo horn is uh, aligned with the uh, servo and then to secure it with the two two millimeter screws Okay, next we're going to install the push rods. And uh, for more information on the control throws, please refer to the inside of this manual. You can take the two push rods. These are for the rudder and elevator. These come here to the aircraft. I'm going to install it on the outermost hole. If you're a beginner, please install it into the innermost hole for less control throw and onto the control surface. We're going to slide this uh, silicon tube thing onto the clevis. Okay, next we're going to do the horizontal stabilizer. Flip the plane over. Uh, push rod goes into the servo uh, horn. So, and then the clevis attaches to the control horn on the surface. Again, if you're a beginner, um, try and 
move the, the push rod onto the innermost hole in the control horn and then the outermost hole here on the surface to give you a little less um, control throw. That means the aircraft would not be as sensitive. Having a hard time trying to push this silicon tube into the clevis, but there you go. Okay, we're going to install the prop now with its uh, fairing. So there are four components to the prop. Um, the base goes on the shaft like so. And then the prop itself. And this fairing on top. Like so. And then we take the uh, nose cone and then we Secure it like so. Okay, so let's install the skis. Um, what we're going to do is to take out the skis themselves, uh, the two extra bolts, the shorter bolts um, that attach to the skis, a seven millimeter um, socket wrench, a three millimeter uh, hex drive, and some pliers. So what we're going to do is to remove the wheel wheels first. What we're going to do is to put the three millimeter on the back and secure it while we remove the nut and the wheel. You can tell that this screw is much longer than the screws for the skis, so we're going to remove this as well. Ah, okay. We're going to take this screw, the shorter screw, attach the nut. Okay, let's uh, install the ski itself. Uh, make sure this cutout is uh, facing the inside of the aircraft, facing the fuselage. Put it into the bolt. and then push the piano wire out onto the landing gear itself so it gives a little tension. And repeat on the other side. If you are going to fly off with water, um, here are the included floats on the Kingfisher. So there are two horizontal struts, two landing gear struts, eight set screws, a water rudder, and two retainers uh, to retain the whole structure onto the fuselage. So what we're going to do now is to assemble the floats themselves first before we uh, before we attach it to the aircraft. What we're going to do is take the uh, horizontal struts and then make sure that the notch is facing up so the set screws could bite into the uh, struts themselves. And we're going to take one of these set screws and install it here. And Make sure it's nice and tight. Next, we're going to install the landing gear strut, or the float strut, right there, uh, into the larger of the two holes here. Make sure that the notch is also facing up so the set screw could actually bite into it. Make sure it's nice and tight. Um, a tip here would be that the top of the strut needs... Also on the tail as well, the top of the strut needs to be inboard. Okay, we're going to secure this with a set screw, like so. Secure. Then it's that horizontal strut again. In order to install the floats, we need to remove this traditional landing gear or in our case right now, it's the skis. To do so, we need to remove these three screws. Oops. Make sure we keep that in a safe spot. Okay, with these three scre screws loose, 
um, the whole landing gear would come off. Okay, now we're going to put the floats onto the fuselage. There are two slots over here. Make sure they're from the inside. I'm going to take that fairing from the traditional landing gear uh, from just a moment ago. And we're going to align it with the screw holes. Two millimeter bolt. Okay, there are two fairings that go on the back of the strut. Make sure that the notch is facing out. And we're going to attach those with our two millimeter screws as well. And with that, the floats are secured. Now after the floats are installed, we need to install the water rudder. So to do so, we need to first remove the fairing off the rudder. All right, like so. Um, we're going to push the wheels, the tail wheel out like this, and we're going to drag it out like so. Then we're going to take the water rudder. Do the same thing as we did when we installed the tail wheel. Oop. And make sure that the screw holes are aligned. And we will secure it with the two bolts. First bolt goes in like so, second bolt. Okay, apart from the scale uh, canopy, we can actually install the included FPV canopy as well. There's a little uh, plywood um, surface that you can mount your FPV gear to, and it also latches onto the fuselage like so. All right, so now we're going to do the installation of the receiver and the power on test. Before we do that, we should remove the prop because this is the first time we're powering on this aircraft. Safety first. Today, for this example, we're going to use a, a Flysky A6 receiver. And all the wires are clearly labeled, um, the channel numbers and of course, uh, what the channels are. Um, so, channel one a aileron. Channel two elevator. Okay, got a channel three uh, throttle. Then channel four rudder. Um, for the recommended power pack, we're going to use a 3S 2200 milliamp hour 35C um, uh, battery pack, LiPo. Check the center of gravity after you uh, install the battery. Okay, we're gonna power on. We're going to turn on the transmitter first and power on the aircraft second. Make sure that all the channels are functioning. Okay, we have the ailerons, the elevator, and then the rudder. Uh, for channels that are reversed, of course, reverse them and then you're good to go.